Hi, I'm Carl from The Woodshop TV, and today I'm going to make this John Beaver inspired box. It's six inches tall and four inches in diameter. I used maple and walnut on it. And I want to thank Ron for all of his help. I couldn't have done it without you, Ron. Thank you so much. And it's also the first time I've used the miter set. I use this to make the segmented rings. It's really easy to set up. I'll have a link down below in the description where you can find those. Let's get started. Help support the companies that support our community. For the segmented ring, I used maple and walnut. I used the miter set to set up an eight segment ring. You'll notice I put a backer board on there because the boards were pretty short. But I made two of these because I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna lay out. After they were dry, I ran them through the surface sander and glued them together. For the main body of the box, I used maple. I squared it up on the bandsaw. The size on this can vary. Mine's about six inches long and four by four. You need to mark center on both ends. After you have the center marked, you need to drill for the dowels. I use three eighths inch. On one end, come in halfway and come in a little less than half an inch up from the bottom. I drilled in about a half an inch, but this doesn't really matter. It's gonna be turned away later. So it just needs to be there for the pivot point. On the other end, on the top, you need to drill in two more dowel holes. Again, I used the 3 8 inch. Now, what I did is I roughly marked where the arc was going to come across there, and I went about a half an inch under that. These dowels need to go all the way through the three pieces after you get this cut. The two dowel holes on the top are offset just a little bit. It's just to help line it back up when you put it back together. And make sure you don't go out too far from the center. You don't want it to come into the side of the piece. I made this simple little jig, just drilled some holes down in here, half an inch apart, and lined it up with the blade, the center of the holes with the blade there. And so what we're gonna do is, if you were gonna do one where it was all the same kind of wood, you wouldn't have to have to do what I did here, but I want a segmented piece in the center of it. So I made a waste block here, and I'm gonna use the same holes. So I'm gonna come in at number one position there and make the, the cut, move it in half an inch and make another cut. And then I'm gonna put this one on there, same thing, first cut, second cut. And that way that the arc is the same on both of them when I try and put this piece into here. Alright, I have my three pieces here. I just cut two little dowels. The length on this will vary. The only thing you need need to do is sand them. If don't tap them in there, you'll spend the majority of this project trying to get the dowels back out if you do. So just sand them a little bit so they just slide in. You stack them right up on top of each other. Cut the dowels off. Um, you know, they don't have to be flush, but, but pretty close. So what we're going to do now is put this right on the lathe, use the little center point. Before you crank it down, just kind of adjust it a little bit to make sure it's all lined up. I noticed on the other two I did, it's it kind of it moves a little bit, so, so make sure they're lined up before you put some pressure on it. Just crank it down. What we're going to do here is just true it up into a cylinder and put a tenon down on this end. Now that I have a true and a tenon on one end, 
and put it in the chuck and start shaping the outside of the box. If you were going to use all the same piece of wood, at this point you would take out that center ring and go ahead and shape the outside of the box and bring the diameter down so that the ring stood proud. But because I'm using the segmented ring and it's a little bit bigger than this, I don't have to worry about that. Now that I have the outside shaped and sanded, I'm going to go ahead and pull it all apart, take out the center ring and replace it with the segmented one. I'll go ahead and glue this all together, turn the segmented ring down a little bit and hollow out the box. For the lid, I'm going to use the leftovers from the segmented piece. Because there's a hole in it, I need to make this in three pieces. Actually, four pieces with the finial on top. But I need to make a tenon for the box that goes inside. I need to make the segmented part and then a plug for the top of it. And then I'll put the ring finial on top.
There we go. And again, I use maple and walnut, and it's six inches tall and four inches in diameter. I know the lid might be a little confusing because I used the segment piece with the hole, so I had to make those little plugs on it. But if you always want to see the process of the project come to life, I'm on live on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. We're on on four o'clock on Monday, noon on Wednesday, and Fridays vary, but this Friday we're going to be on at six o'clock. And also, it was the first time I used the miter set. Super easy to set up. I just, uh, you just move your pin. It goes up to 20, 20 piece segments. I put it up on eight, set your mighty gauge, and it was good to go. It worked out perfect. But again, I'll have a link down below in the description for those. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And if you enjoyed the video, would you please share it? It really helps out. Till next week, take care.